Hey, Tim Sykes here. Just wanted to do a video lesson on the market and what's hot and what traders are hot right now. Um, here is IPIX, just for an example. It's doubled basically from nine, um, actually more than doubled up from nine cents to like 20 cents. Um, I've been trading it. I took profits too carefully um, as I usually do, but I wanted to show you just the potential of these low price stocks. You have to remember like 99% of the world hates low price stocks. They think they're all scams. I don't care whether it's a scam or not, okay? I'm not investing in this for the long term. Um, I bought this yesterday thinking that it could spike more, which it has. Um, and I'll go into this trade in a little bit, but I just want to, you know, specifically bring up this stock because if you look at the, uh, I don't know, let's look at the NASDAQ for a second, okay? We've, we've had a big drop over the past few months, nice bounce, but over the past two days, the NASDAQ has gotten crushed. Okay, um, if you look at seven days, I mean, we're still like in bounce mode, but we're down several percentage points on the NASDAQ. Um, and this is the same thing, you know, for the S&P and the Dow and most stocks. So even in a nasty overall market, we're having low price stocks. I think probably a better example is SGBX, which went from the ones to the twelves, back to the fives, now back to nearly 10. Um, all we're doing is trading volatile stocks and you get to choose how aggressive you want to be or how conservative you want to be. And I think a good lesson, um, is here where, you know, Tim Grittani was in SGBX. Uh, he was alerting the challenge chat room yesterday. He bought it in the fives, um, overnight, you know, after hours, it was up to the twelves. Um, he actually ended up selling 12,500 between 11 and 12. So he locked in roughly 75 grand. Uh, in profits, but this is the the gift and the curse of low price stocks. So he he held some um, overnight because this is what he does, right? Like this is this is all time stamped in the challenge chat. Um, I encourage all challenge students to go back through the chat and specifically look at this. I mean, Tim Grittani has made over ten million dollars. He's great to learn from. He didn't just alert his buys, um, but he also said, "Look, I'm going to hold some overnight." So he locked in seventy five grand. Uh, but then, you know, SGBX did an offering overnight, which is always the risk with these crappy little companies. And he lost um, or he sold the, the last 7,500 in the fives where he bought. So, you know, whether he made or lost like 10 or 20 cents a share, he was basically break even on the 7,500. But he locked in, you know, 75,000. So he trades aggressively. Um, also, you don't even just have to trade penny stocks. I want to bring up Mark Crook. Um, who I'm excited about. I'm, I'm trying to get him to do a um, uh, a guide on options trading because you know he's my uh, newest millionaire student. He's made 1.6 million now, but he also trades options and he locked in 14,000 uh, on Zoom puts today. Um, so you know Tim Grittani made 75,000. Mark Crook made 14,000. And then here's what I do. I'm making a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars at a time. Here's my uh, IPIX trade where um, I basically bought it yesterday in the 13s. Um, it was breaking the day high and there was uh, a link to a potential uh, coronavirus news um, and they, they put it together that there might be a news release. Guess what? There was a news release. Um, this is the beautiful thing with these low price stocks. It's not random. Um, you know, there's signs when there might be a news release. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Um, but long story short, I sold too soon. Um, I said I tried to be patient, but tons of resistance just under 15. Um, and then I actually was looking at SGBX. So I took my small profits. Um, it actually closed in the 12s. So I thought that I was a good job taking profits, but then they had the press release this morning um, and it's up to the 19s. So um, I was right about playing it safe. I probably should have learned a little something from Tim Grittani. Um, probably, you know, in hindsight, again, like, I, I didn't know if there was gonna be a press release. It was like an educated guess. Um, in hindsight, I should have probably taken the Tim Grittani strategy and you know sold, locked in some profits and then held some overnight. Even though Tim Grittani did that and it cost him because SGBX did an offering, in this case with IPIX, uh, with the potential press release, I would have been rewarded. Um, so that's a good lesson for me. And, and that's what I want you to do. Like take a little something from every trader. Um, from every trade too, right? So like Tim Grittani, it cost him by being over uh, overnight and, and being aggressive. If I had taken that Tim Grittani type strategy 
with this trade, it would have made me a little more money. But I'm just locking in a few hundred dollars here or there. Um, I ended up making roughly 40 grand um, in the month of March, which I guess is like the worst March or the worst month in, in decades, if not ever. Um, I know it was the worst quarter and I ended up over $60,000 in profits on that quarter. And then today, you know, I sold uh, my MVIS, MEDS, um, MEDS, I, I could have taken a little better profits. I actually probably should have sold into strength in the in the high sevens, um, but I got a little greedy, so that was a little wrong. MVIS, I just went for a technical dip buy. MVIS is running. Um, I haven't even looked at it. It's coming back down. But, you know, there was a technical bounce uh, after this big run-up. I don't suggest chasing these kinds of run-ups, but you can definitely, you know, trade it for bounces. Um, and as I'm saying this, you know, the market is hitting lows um, over the past hour. So it looks like it's a nasty market, but there are still so many low price stocks moving. Um, and I actually got an interesting message from somebody who like trades Amazon and, and trades high price stocks and they're not doing well. And I'm like, you know, trade low price stocks. And they're like, no, never. And I'm just like, I right, do do your thing. Um, there's so much stubbornness and so much um, just ignorance regarding low price stocks. Um, I'm also watching CEMI. Uh, they came out with a new 15-minute uh, blood test for coronavirus, and this has been spiking, although it's not um, holding its gains very well. I think probably people were already uh, expecting it. DFFN is also another big winner, although this is coming down a little bit too. Um, I'm filming this just before noon Eastern, so really, you know, the plays are done. That's why I'm, I'm taking the time to film this. Um, you don't have to sit in front of a computer all day. In fact, you shouldn't. Um, part of the reason why I'm doing this video lesson is because I'm trying to not trade. Um, trading midday has lower odds of success. So all of my trading is geared towards uh, the market open and the market close. Um, and we had a bunch of plays. So long story short, I'm taking a few hundred dollars at a time. It's adding up. Um, by the way, I donate all my trading profits to charity in case people are like, oh, you know, this is what you do. You just trade and, and you make a little money. No, I teach a process. Um, all of my trading profits, all $62,000 are now 63000 for the year is donated. Um, I'm announcing a $50,000 donation later today uh, to Direct Relief, uh, which is a, a medical charity that uh, donates uh, protective gear and masks to healthcare workers. Because with the coronavirus, the biggest risk is not that the coronavirus uh, is so deadly. Um, it's just that what happens if the coronavirus overwhelms our hospitals? Um, so, you know, that's the biggest risk. Let me, let me pull up their website one sec, just so you can see. This is uh, direct relief. So healthy people, better world. And they basically just do a lot of emergency medical supplies. Um, if you see on their website, uh, they like, here's them like giving supplies, putting it on a helicopter. They had a nice thing. Yeah. Look at this. So they've given 1.5 billion in medical aid, 7.5 million pounds of, uh, medical supplies. Um, and this is all in the last year. I mean, they're, they're, they're massive, um, but they could need, they, they always need more, you know, like we're going to need more medicine. We're going to need more sanitizer. We're going to need more protective gear, more masks. Um, this is the biggest health crisis in decades. So um, it's my honor to donate $50,000 to direct relief. And again, I'm not rich enough to like, you know, truly change the world, but between my 50,000 and hopefully, you know, maybe you go to directrelief.org and you also learn um, about their great initiatives. Uh, you know, I, I do believe that we can change the world together. Um, and that's why I frankly love trading, you know, like there's so much volatility. Um, it's absolutely insane. Oh, IPIX is over 20 cents, by the way. Um, so congrats to everyone who held overnight. I, I took profits too carefully on this one. But again, you have the choice whether you take profits carefully and lock in a few hundred dollars, or if you want to be more aggressive and you, you know, hold some, you sell some, you hold some overnight, or you want to be full on aggressive. I don't, I don't think that you should go full on aggressive, especially in the beginning. If you have a small account and not a lot of experience, you know, Tim Grittani has made over 10 million. I've made over 5 million. Um, once you make a few million, you, you start understanding when to be aggressive and when not to be. Um, but you know, you have that option. This is not an exact science. So whether you make 75,000 today, like Tim Grittani did, or 14,000 like Mark Crook, or, you know, I'm up a little over a thousand. Um, there's multiple ways to trade and so many people are just home quarantined. You might as well learn. Hey, 
I'm Tim Sykes. Hey, I'm Matt Abad, and we're co-founders of Karmagawa. We've been posting a lot about the coronavirus crisis since January. Now there's over 800,000 cases worldwide and nearly 40,000 deaths. So our hearts and prayers goes out to the victims and all the families affected. We also can't thank the incredible healthcare workers enough as they're literally risking their lives treating people who are infected with this virus. So we're proud to announce a $50,000 donation to the great charity Direct Relief that provides protective gear and masks to the healthcare workers in this difficult time. We also can all help by staying home, social distancing, and really encouraging everyone to do the same in order to limit the spreading of this virus. And the biggest risk is if the hospitals become overwhelmed with patients, they won't have enough supplies and staff to treat everyone. And then the death rate can really surge. So we're proud to help support Direct Relief, and we hope that you do too. Thanks for your support. Please share the video with your followers and tag people who need to hear this before it's too late.